In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a fun bubble texture using alcohol and acrylic paint and your gel press for those fun undersea type scenes you might be making. Now I have my little gel press set up on my Misty. It's my favorite way to use it. Sometimes I flip the lid closed and print with it, but most of the time it's just a good surface for my gel press to adhere to. And I'm using golden fluid acrylics here and dropping just a little bit of rubbing alcohol onto the wet paint. This is a technique that I've done on paper and I will link you to that video. I just wanted to see if it would work on the gel press surface as well as it works on paper. So once you can start to barely see the little bubbles that are forming, and I will go ahead and do a print. And what I found when I was doing this technique is, oh, that opened up some nice bubbles, is that the second print tended to be my favorite. Sometimes I had a little bit too much paint on the first print, or there were certain pigments that didn't react as well to the alcohol as others. But this blue is perfect and gave me great bubbles. I just like that second print better because the bubbles are a little bit more distinct. When I do this on paper, I can layer different colors on top of each other that I've done this technique with. And the bubbles that are opened up will show you the color that is underneath that layer. And so, of course, with the gel press, you're sort of working in reverse. But the principle is the same. Those bubbles are great little openings for you to lay other colors on top of and let them show through. This is not something you normally get with gel printing because you don't really have a way to make that transparency unless you do some omitting techniques and actually remove paint from the plate. This is a fun way to have the paint move out of the way to reveal another layer. So there, those colors are very similar in value. So the show through of the bubbles underneath is pretty subtle. These two second prints together will show more of the detail of the bubble texture. And there you can see it filled in those white spots with the phthalo blue. The first layer was ultramarine and the second layer was phthalo blue. So similar in value, but one is more greenish. The textures that are left on the plate after the second printing are so much fun and those will transfer to each of my prints that I'm making today. Now I'm going to switch to green and just see if this pigment reacts as well. You'll notice I left a big blob of paint there that I shouldn't have. I will say that with this technique, thinner layers of paint work better and you want your paint to be some medium that stays wet a little bit longer because wet paint reacts to alcohol much better than drier paint does. And you can really see that in my other video on this technique without using the gel press. Now this green almost gets like a malachite texture to it with the little bubbles. It's really fun and I wanted to see what would happen if I combined that with the ultramarine. In this case, I both sprayed and dropped alcohol on to get kind of a grittier texture that you get when you spray alcohol onto acrylic paint, more sort of granular and less just the larger circles. So I'll add a little bit more paint and you can see on a couple of these, I got a little bit too much paint. That's why I'm saying be sparing because the reaction that you'll get will be much better. That one gave me some excellent bubbles and picked up that green. And that one I think is perfect, that second print. And that's the one I'll be using in my card today. Very distinct little bubbles at the top. Now I'm gonna try red. And you've heard me say this before, red pigments are funky. They don't act like other pigments necessarily. So I wasn't expecting much from the quinacridone magenta. And you can see it is very, very subtle. 
However, I noticed on the second print that there were little bubble textures in that red with the paint that was left on the plate. But overall, it's not as reactive and not as much fun as the blues. Now here I've gotten a nice thin layer and you can see what I'm talking about. The paint is moving quite a bit more. And I'm going to layer this on top of the red and let the red show through those nice little bubbles. Ooh, and that one's really beautiful. That almost looks like something under a microscope. That's really the ideal thing that I'm looking for. And to me, it seems like that most often happens on the second print. I think the level of paint that's left on the plate by the time you pull your second print is perfect for preserving those tiny circles that were created by the alcohol. Very fun. So here's my completed card with the Little Hero Arts goldfish, and I used one of the green prints to make the seaweed. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.